Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Let's say, for argument's sake, you wanted to add two external monitors to a computer that only had one video port. DVI, VGA, it doesn't matter. So you would need a way to connect an external monitor by way of another port, potentially even a USB port. You might want to look into one of these. In fact, did, did you hear it? The kit dropped onto the floor. Let me grab it here. It's a VI book or a VI book. I'm not exactly sure how I say it. V-I-B-O-O-K from villagetronic.com. If you head over to go.tagjag.com slash VI book, we'll be sure to link you off to the uh, best place where you can buy one of these for yourself. And this, quite simply, connects to an external monitor. I mean, it wouldn't connect to a monitor that was attached to a computer, necessarily. But you would be able to connect an external monitor by way of a USB port. So now, if you only have one connection for an external monitor, you could make it two by using an empty USB port. Using the, of course, VI book hardware that uh, is available right now, go.tagjag.com slash VI book. But let's say you wanted to connect more than just one external monitor. You wanted to connect two external monitors, but you didn't have enough ports. Well, then, from the same company, Village Tronic, you may be interested in taking a look at the VI dock or the VI dock. And it also happens to allow you to connect by way of USB or Express card. Ah, look at that. So, Wicket, you can't use it yet. You don't even have a computer. Did you? Did you hear Wicket? He was barking. He wants to use this. It's not going to happen. Uh, they have a couple of versions of the uh, VI dock available, including one that will allow you to connect to a dual link DVI monitor, like a 30 inch monitor that I have running behind me. Of course, I have both of these 30 inch monitors connected to a video card uh, that is uh, dual link DVI uh, capable, obviously. Uh, again, this is an option for you if you're looking to expand what you already have and you are limited. Again, you can plug in one extra monitor into a notebook computer. If you can plug in two, hey, you must be doing quite well. Uh, I'm sure there are notebooks out there that can handle that you know, natively. But if you do not have that capability, that's when you might want to look into uh, another device that would allow you to use something like a USB port. So yes, it is uh, quite visibly larger, uh, the VI dock, but it is capable of a heck of a lot more. Uh, if you're looking for just a simple upgrade, uh, to uh, you know, expand your video options. And again, if you've never operated uh, with two screens connected to one computer, even three screens connected to one computer, you just you don't know what you're missing. Your productivity goes through the roof, especially if you have like, okay, I can ask this question and probably flood the chat room. What is the largest monitor that you have? And I don't mean like size-wise diagonal, I mean like screen resolution. What is the largest one that you have? Imagine if the largest one you have is 1600 by 1200, and then you have this uh, other monitor, an older one potentially, like a 12, 1024 by 768 monitor just lying around collecting dust. Well, you might as well use it for something. I mean, you know, you can throw uh, extra apps on there, uh, chat room, um, you know, widgets, instant messages. Having more than one screen is extremely valuable. Your productivity almost guaranteed is, is going to skyrocket. And, and people have said this, the higher your resolution, the more your productivity will be. You want high productivity, don't you? I'm just, I'm guessing. Maybe you don't. Maybe you're fine with small resolution in one screen. Maybe you're fine with two screens, small resolution. But if you got another one lying around and you don't have the capabilities of plugging a third or fourth or fifth or whatever one in, you may think about using an extra USB port. That's all I'm going to say. So again, these devices are available from villagetronic.com, but I will link you off to the lowest price for each one. Go.tagjag.com slash VI book or go.tagjag.com slash VI doc. Two different products, two different problems, and of course, two different solutions. My email address is chris at perillo.com. Feel free to drop me a line if you know of any other hardware solutions that can help us expand our productivity? It's a good word, isn't it? Unless you're at work, then you really don't want to increase productivity. Unless you're working on those TPS reports, which I need by Friday.
Yeah. <clears throat> You're welcome to join us in our community of hardware enthusiasts, geeks.perillo.com. And if you'd like to join the same geeks, you're more than welcome to. We're probably hanging out in this chat room, typically talking tech, 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.